about 13 years ago, um, I was actually working on the marketing roundtable for the chamber, and they had asked us to come up with something that would, quote, put heads on beds in the county off season. We came up with the idea, idea of doing the Art and Wine Festival. We have a huge variety of wines, anywhere from your sweets to your super dries. We have champagnes, uh, sparklings, chocolate, chocolate mint. And Art and the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival partnered together to ask if we could be the nonprofits that would benefit from the net proceeds of the Art and Wine Festival. We get about 2,500 to 2,800 people every year. They come from all over, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, a lot of second homeowners, but mostly it, we're here to fill the beds, and that's exactly what we've been doing with the lodging partners in our hotels. The black. Stella Rose Black. Stella Rose Black. Uh, she just bought one. This is the Vaga, Voga, Voga. <laughs> Moscato. The Cupcake And red. the Cupcake Red is really good. Viva Strawberry. Without this fundraiser, we would be unable to bring um, the quality of performing arts that we do to Garrett County and the community that it surrounds. A lot of the people have come year after year. We have a group of 31 women. They call themselves Sisters of the Vine. They've been here for nine years straight and they make this an annual event as part of their monthly wine excursions. I found a few things I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're going home happy? We're going to go home happy with several bottles, very happy. So we have the ballet, we have symphony music, so that we really strive to meet the needs of our community and exposing them to all different kinds of um, performing arts. And we are so blessed that so many people willingly give of their time and their talents to donate these items that directly benefit the two nonprofits, Hearts for Animals and um, the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival. So it's really the community that is giving back to the community. So we have over 160 volunteers, not including our committee, and they range everywhere from our guest pours to helping us set up the festival, tear down the festival, and throughout the year help us support the, the festival. They come from all over as well. I mean, we've got Pennsylvania, we've got, you know, from the D.C. area, Baltimore, they come and help us, and they look forward to coming and working with us on the, uh, you know, during this weekend. I've been there three times, three years in a row, so I'm an expert. So she brought me this year to enjoy. Her birthday. I'm always completely humbled by the participation. And when you consider that this is a, a, a county of less than 30,000 people, it is one of the largest events in the county. And because it is so huge, we invite five or six other local nonprofits to come and work with us. And so they set up booths and they sell or do raffles and things like that because we think only think it's fair for our local nonprofits to, to be able to experience and have get some of the generosity of the people that come here. This is my, I've been here for 20 years. This is my first time at the Art and Wine wow. Festival. So my good friend here, Lisa, years. is from Pennsylvania. I am. And we're having a blast. We took the pontoon Absolutely. boat here. Excellent. And we're having a blast. And everything is great. Now we're going to go try your sauce. Yes. We are going to try Absolutely. Yes, sir, Does your sauce go with the wine? Oh, awesome. Oh, that's what I'm talking Cheers. about. Cheers. So in addition to the 240 variety of wines, we also have about 40 artisans. And those artisans range from anywhere from pottery, woodwork, painters, jewelry. So even if you don't drink, there's so much more that you can do here. This festival helps show off how many wonderful things are available in Garrett County. The level of arts, the great places to eat, like some of our, our food vendors, Firefly Farms, High Country Creamery. So those folks are showing, wow, Garrett County is a great place to not just visit, but to come and stay. Nice. Very nice, very good wine, very good cheese. Yeah, great, great time. Very yeah. great music. band, great music.
great food, having a blast, really are. Thank the Garrett so County all the way, babe. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, but there's always, there is something to do for everyone, and, and, and there's entertainment, live entertainment, which is always fun because there's always dancing. We expected 500 people the first year, and it, and it was it was very different than what it is today. We sold wine out of a store window. We ended up having about 800 people. We made $11,000, and we swore we would never do it again until we saw how many people were having fun and, and how exciting it was. So this is my 13th year, and I love doing it. Um, it, it's, it's, been a, it's been great. I never expected it to be this big. My friend Ann brought eight of us here for actually a book club. Eight women, no men, wine tasting. I mean, what could be a better time? We have Friday night wine pairing dinners. So at our local restaurants offer wine pairing dinners with a special menu. And they usually have rep representatives from the wineries that come in and it's a great experience. They fill up fast. So we make it a whole weekend. You know, we always are looking for more volunteers and it actually is a lot of fun to volunteer here. Just go to our website in probably about June of next year and sign up. We'd love to have you. If you have any questions, you can contact Heart for Animals um, and speak with our volunteer coordinator and she can answer all your questions because she's also our volunteer coordinator for the festival. We couldn't put a festival like this on without the volunteer support. So it's just, it's what makes Garrett County a great place to live. I hope that to see a lot more of you here, you'll have a blast. Oh, oh, oh.